this is a recording from you guys and yes my name is Amoni like I said I think we should do a brief introduction about ourselves before we kick off the meeting proper proper we are just going to nominate we'll go with the nominating method if you guys can hear me just react an emoji or something we're going to to go with the nomination method. So how it works is basically you introduce yourself, you call on somebody to introduce themselves. They do, they call on somebody else. I think that's how we're going to go. My name is Harmony. I'm a product and project manager. I have a very good experience in program. In open source, I do technical writing. podcast and hi can you hear me can you guys hear me Hi, good afternoon. You can use the... Sorry? I mean, you can use the text box, like the message chat, if you can't. You can use the message. Sorry, I lost my network for a while. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. So I don't know if you guys are still introducing yourself. Have you guys started? Well, on the chat, yes. Okay, on the chat, yes. Okay. So who is next? Who is going next? Who's going next, please? Okay. Um, next. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, IJ. Okay, my name is IJ, and I'm Ijuma, and I'm a software developer. I focus more on front end. I do that. I'm learning um, Python and DevOps. So basically, that's all for now. It's okay to say our favorite color. I love um, purple as a color. <laughs> so that's a, um, who do I call on this? Let me check. 
Okay, Sophia. Is it just me? Okay, can you get some? Hmm? I called on Sophia now, so it let her speak next. Okay, what are we speaking on exactly? Are we introducing ourselves? Good yes, just introduction. I think we haven't done that and it's necessary. Okay, okay. Um Sophia Ogotuko. Um I'm a cybersecurity analyst, but I'm more focused on cloud security and open source lover. Uh what else? Uh my best food at the time right now is stir fried noodles with plenty, plenty of vegetables inside. That's it. Thank you very much. I think if I'm oh, am I supposed to call the you... person? Yes. Okay. I don't know who has um introduced herself. But... MC MC Live. Okay. Mark Live. I think she's a share. We're taking time or any other person so we can go on Good today. Morning. Yeah. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm blessed. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. We can hear you. Okay, my name is Blessing. Um a UX UI designer. Um I don't have any favorite food. Oh, okay, that's okay. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. So I'll call on um Olusha. Olusha. Okay. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ishinya, but you can call me Ishinya. Um, I am. I don't know something. I I school and I. I uh, do technical, um, I do like technical writing and documentation. Yeah, I'm also into AI, so um, I don't know, like, I don't know how to pronounce her name, Clive said, I don't really have a favorite food, because I mean, why have a favorite food when you can have everything on? My um, favorite color, I tend towards black and like neutral colors, so yeah, that's all about me. Thank you very much, Alicia. It's the first time I'm getting the pronunciation well. So I think I'll call on, is it Irene or Iran? Can you speak? It's the first time I'm saying that yes, name here. Yes, please. Both pronunciations are right. So, okay, both hi. Okay. yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, Ariane, or you can call me Irian. Mm, I'm a machine learning engineer and also a junior project manager. Mm, talking about my favorite food. I don't have a favorite food, but my favorite color is green. Yeah. Mm, what should I call names? Winifred. I think we can talk. Can you drop a text? Winifred. So, but then, Ayan, is it, are you a newbie? Like, is this your first time in this meeting? Oh, yes, please. Okay, I I didn't come with my, my clapping hands, but then you're welcome. I'm <laughs> I open. You. You're very much welcome. Thank you. Yes. They say the people that don't have favorite food, you guys eat everything. You're a foodie. There's nothing you want to tell us. And I'm proud to be one. I love trying out things. So an overview of what we do here in Technical Writers Focus Group. So Technical Writers Focus Group is a focus group under Chaos Africa. 
and what we do majorly is documentation we pay attention to details that has to do with every form of documentation in different reports we look at the contributing guide we prepare articles we prepare onboarding documents and a couple of other things anything that has to do with pen paper keyboard and text we're in charge However, over time, we have expanded our niche to a bit of quality assurance. So we help people look at the product. When you write onboarding document, you tend to look at the product. You tend to use the product yourself, right? So we do that. And in the process of doing that, we help create issues that would help other contributors that are into either design alignment or software coding make that project better. So, first of all, please, if you are attending our virtual workshop, just do well to react with an emoji. If you are attending our virtual workshop, if you spoke, if you were there, just do well. Yes, we had a lot of people there, and I'm so very happy and glad that you guys make out time took out time from your busy schedule to grace the event your face your give your voice your reaction was well welcomed thank you so much meant a lot to me meant a lot to chaos in and a lot of other persons so so far i think we'll go back for feedbacks what is something that you took home from this scavenger workshop Doc scavenger virtual workshop it could be something it does not have to do with the sessions we had it could be something you took home with at least you should tell us give us feedback maybe where we can get better what you think we would have got some that you didn't get so we'll add it to our plan just raise up your hand or drop a comment and i'll read it out drop a message in the chat box just raise up your hand if you're open to speak Hmm, don't tell me you put it okay. up. Okay. Thank on you. On my end, what I took home from the uh workshop was I used to believe or oh, I had this myth that to work with GitHub or on any issue, you have to um practically fuck that repo to your local machine. And seeing that you could actually edit directly from your GitHub account without doing it. That was the first time I was doing it. I, I was seeing it in real time, and that's one thing I took home. That's actually exciting. I, I also, like, I actually relate with you because I have been struggling to create pull requests for a couple of documents that I'm editing, especially documents that i don't have edit access or that were created using local machine i just feel so so yes the process of working a repo and doing it properly was very very exciting and i used it yesterday and the fact i could do that without calling anybody or googling some stuff meant a lot to me so any other person And she was also a speaker. Let me even clap for her. Where's that react? Thank you so much for sharing. Any other person, anybody else that's willing to take the mic? Yes, McClive, please. Okay, so for me, the session was um, more like an enlightener because I've always um, heard of the word as someone who is not um, a programming or coding person. I've always heard of issue, few pull requests and all. And I think I created a GitHub account way back, but I was unable to like navigate how to use it. So through the session, I've gotten a better understanding of it working. I've always, because I've always thought it's just peculiar to programmers just for you to code. And that's like the perception I've had of Git, GitHub and the likes. So I've, although I've not tried um, using it now, but I've got a better understanding of 
creating issue and then creating the full request, merging and all. And I think I even want to try it out for one of, I saw one issue that I think I want to try out. Maybe I would get it. That's actually very exciting, MacLive. And I'm going to be your personal assistant in figuring out how to solve that particular issue. Any issue of your choice, just reach out to me and I'll be your PA for the time being for that issue. I'll assist you with anything that you need. Yeah, thank you. Anybody else, anybody else? I don't know why Olushe is not talking. I saw some beautiful faces that day. IJ, Winifred wasn't there. Yeah, Winifred was there. So anybody else, anybody else, anybody else? In absence to nobody, the workshop, the virtual workshop was actually very exciting, educative, and also hands-on practical sessions. We had speakers that came, they taught us about a couple of stuff, including things to look out for in technical documentation and a host of other stuff. We also had people come to tell us, uh, we had Peculiar, she came to tell us about what chaos is the work that they do in chaos and yeah she came to tell us about it amongst other stuff so that was actually exciting seeing somebody tell us reminds of of the objective or the things that they do in chaos africa in chaos in general so far how is october first going for you guys looks like you guys have not been solving any issue Are you having any challenge? Do you feel like you're pressured? You want to do something different and stuff like that? Ulisha says she's been busy. I'm going to add you to my prayer so that your schedule will be free so you can do a couple of other stuff. Yes, sorry to all of us that are in Nigeria. I think most of you are in Nigeria. Sorry to us, all of us. National grid is down and I understand the pain right and figuring out light issue and the rest but thank god for getting power to join this meeting and doing all that stuff but yeah mm, october first has been exciting i've created more than two pairs beyond chaos i've done a couple of other stuff from other places and I have a personal project I'm working on for October 1st, something I've always wanted to do on GitHub. So I'm figuring my way around it and I'm trying to be better. So I would want to ask, generally, what are the documents or the things that we should do in chaos that you guys think that we are missing out? Gift mentioned about the glossary document and I worked on one yesterday and it has been very helpful to a couple of persons. I think I've got some comments on it. So let's figure out things together in the technical writer's documentation. What are the documents or suggestions you think we could implement that would make contributions better, that would enhance the use of any project? or that would make contributing for non-code contributors, including the code people, better. Just suggestions. It could be an analysis that we would need to also dissect, and that's fine. It could be a document you think that we should have. It could be something you think that we could improve on, or something you think we could work on. So I'll leave the floor open for everybody or anybody. If you can't speak, as always, you can use the message, the meeting chat. I'm tempted to call names. Please, you push your talk. Mm, push your talk. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. 
So people should talk now. What are the things? You guys are technical writers. You guys have worked on stuff. So what are the things that you guys think can be better? At the moment, I don't think I have like anything. I can't think of it. We're better in chaos. If it's in chaos, I don't think I have like anything to say right now because there's a time that we asked this question, I think earlier in the year, and everything that has been, that was raised, most of it has been like done. So I don't, to me, I don't have anything. Okay, thank you, Olushai. So I, I personally feel like we could do more on article writing. It does not have to be about the tool or a project, but I think article writing is something that we can do on beyond documentations. Because I feel in terms of writing, we need people to be able to talk about the work that we're doing. So I think article writing is something that we can do. So do you mean so, like an official um an official chaos blog where people would contribute the articles to or would be writing on our personal um on our personal accounts? So, so the way it functions now in Chaos Africa is the comms team, which is the social media team, would post the article but they'll give credits to the writer. So I feel like the tools that we use the contributions that we do, the the projects that we are working on, like the AFOS project, the DI badging, the Grimnoma, the Glimora Lab to the Argo to and a couple of other stuff, metric analysis, chaos cast, all of that. I think we will write articles on some of the works we do in these places or in this project to be able to give it more attention. And it also help people beyond just chaos to understand the work that we're doing or the work that that we're basically contributing to. You know, the best way to tell people about your stuff or the stuff you're contributing on is talking about it. And in talking, writing is also a way to talk. I don't know if you understand me, Olusha. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I get the, um, but one because what I'm looking at is that if I, I don't know, this can also be a suggestion. If we can have like a general chaos blog and we have people that will write on it because it makes it look more official and it makes it like carry in a way carry more weight so, than me. I just write so you know, it's different if I write on my own and they just help me repost this. Then if I am writing, um, I am writing for chaos. So it gives that kind of, I don't know if you understand, like it gives that kind of like level to the article that, okay, this person is writing from this particular like thing and it's just not like freelancing or so. Okay, more or less like a brand that we can ident identify. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It gives the article more branding. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, something else. Is there anything else? How about trans translation? I feel we could translate some of the documents. It's a good thing to add links to translated documents. I don't know what that means, so let's share. Yeah, definitely. I like the idea. I don't know what that means. I8N. Sorry. Oh, um, it's a short form for internalization. So you have like the I8N, I12, L12N. Basically, the 8 is just the length of the text inside. So I don't want to write internalization. Okay. So basically, that's that's like how it's being put. Though. 
I learned something today. But I think translating is something we could do, maybe to local languages in Chaos Africa, and maybe to um, um, the most like based on region, maybe it language that's most popular in Asia, and just basically something beyond English. I think it's something that we can do. I'm taking this note so that I'm going to talk about it to the appropriate people and see how they can help us achieve some of these things. So is there Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. So they give us a blog. Sorry, my network is very shitty. So they give us a blog, like I said. Call to action. They give us a blog that we can go through. And this is the blog. Somebody told me to always paste without formatting. Yeah. So they give us a blog that would help us, you know, understand how they do stuff or write documents with accessibility group. So we could look at it. We are almost time for a meeting though. Please do where to give feedback on Doc Scavenger. It's going to help us in our other programs and also in handling things moving forward. It does not have to be positive feedback. So I'm just asking like an overview, like what you guys thought, <laughs> what you guys thought on documents that would aid the disability and uh, accessibility focus group. Yes, Sophia. Okay. Mine is a question about the assigned issue to me. So when I read that yes. issue, it says you're meant to um, do a detailed analysis and all. So on the on the, the the page, there are some errors that are there. Do I affect the corrections, or as you just um, point out, what? what is wrong with the document? What are the errors? Sorry, I'm coming back to it. So which so of them? The, this one. Uh, I can see your screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Can I can anybody see. Yes, else the see my one. I can see it now. The second one, yes. Okay. Yes, You're yes. Saying... The end of the So there are, there are errors in this document or this link or the issue itself? No, the link. The link to documents. 
So these documents that were linked here, this one or this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can affect it. Okay. So you can affect the changes or the errors, but it's just basically documents, enhancements, suggestions. So there are some of them that you need to send us a link so we look at it, you get. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else that has a question? I'm not even taking taxes yeah so any thoughts about the accessibility stuff I spoke about I don't understand what you mean by the accessibility stuff what exactly are we doing with the accessibility okay. stuff so I said are there ways we can write documents for them that will aid them in reaching out to people of disabled. Okay, I think basically for it, them. Yeah, if we're writing like documentation or articles, we should always use like the um disability and the accessibility functionality that comes from first. For example, I'm using H2 heading instead of H1 because H2, the reader, the, like the website, the chat, like Chrome or I don't know which um, engine person uses, picks up H2 headings. Like that's more accessible for reading. There are things like adding alt, um, alternation description, or alternative description to your articles and to your images. Right, all those kind of things are like things I know that is called accessibility and writing. So that when the when the reader is picking up your your text, it would be able to explain it to the person that is using um a reader to read. So that's maybe for people that um are like blind or people that uh, I don't know. Basically, just helps. Just helps. There are like a lot of things there under the under the whole accessibility stuff. All right. I think he even touched it in this uh, article, if I'm not mistaken, because I will say some things too. So yeah, you can just go through it and see the see it. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So I think um, that basically just says it all. But it's going to be nice if we take out the teaching media. So, any for more? Any question? Any suggestion? Any conversation? Is there anything that we're here to touch before we call it a day? I don't know. I think we said we mentioned something about after Doc Scavenger, the next program we're going to have or so. Okay. I can't remember. It should be one of our so I was taking feedback. Can you hear me? Can you hear yeah, me? I can't know. Yes. So we are going to have like a closing Zoom party on the 29th. Then we are going to see what we can do in the focus group moving forward. I think first things first, we probably will reschedule our meeting to be bi-weekly because we have less things to discuss, less taxes to do and stuff like that. So I don't have detailed idea on the Linux Foundation mentorship program, but I have a link to it. I think I have a link to LFX mentorship. I'm going to look into it. So if you need help in anything, I know a couple of people in chaos that have 
participated in it. I don't have issues. Program. I don't have issues putting in a word or asking the right questions and giving feedback on it. Is that okay, Sophia? Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. So, is so, does anybody from the team actually? Sorry, what is all about? No, the mentorship program. So, Linux Foundation so Linux mentorship Foundation program is part of Linux. Can you hear me? I don't know why. Oh, I should. So, uh, how, what's the best way to explain it? You, you mentor people on various things and you can also get mentored on a particular program that is going on, depending on the work to be done, the foundation, I think also the courses or field they're about. But that's like the overview I can give. But for more context, we can open this link. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Is there any other thing? You're welcome. Is there any question? It does not have to do with what we discussed. Any question, any suggestion, any conversation before we call it today? Nothing for me. Okay, okay. I guess nothing for anybody else. What is chaos engineering? Mm, that's a very big one. When did you see chaos engineering? I think you're mistaking it for chaos. So chaos, the full meaning of the acronym chaos is community health analytics for open source. I didn't get you. Can you come again? The full meaning of chaos is community health and open source software. So maybe you're mistaking it for the other one that you mentioned, chaos engineering. So we need to if there's any grammatical error in the docs avenger.md file. Are you, should you raise an issue, sit and create the pull request, is that in? Is that okay? Okay, we can call it a day. Please let's all do well to have an amazing time. I know the national grid is down. I hope they take it up and stop being down. But then, let's do well to have an amazing time and have a wonderful day ahead. You're welcome.